What if you could wow your teacher by solving that boring three pages math problem in a second? Or how will it feel like if you could devise your own next generation computer that can multitask at the speed of light? Maybe that would happen if we could use 100% of our brain power. And if all of these tasks were done in the blink of an eye, then it would turn very comfortable for the human race. Sounds interesting, right? Watch this video to the end to discover even more interesting things that will happen if we could use 100% of our brain. Brought to you by Brilliance. And just before we begin, don't forget to hit the red button below this video to subscribe and the bell button to get notified of our new videos. Let's get rolling. Scientists have been researching for decades to vouch for the percentage of brains we humans are really able to use. The origin of this myth that humans are only able to use 10% of their brains took from some prevalent theories from the 19th century, and since then it's become a hot topic for some of the science fiction without any scientific credibility. This myth took speed with a common belief that the percentage of the brain used by the greatest scientist Albert Einstein was 10% which is just 3% more utilization than the normal human. He used just 10% of his brain and did many amazing scientific discoveries. And people thought that if we were able to use 100% of our brains, that would bring wonders to this world. Technically speaking, it's not possible to use 100% of our brain for a single activity. Let us understand this with the help of a simple analogy. Consider your brain as the CPU of the computer and you're busy watching a video. CPU is not using all of its power or process in playing a video. However, in the background, it has to manage many other functions, such as running the antivirus program, keeping the USB ports functioning, or for that matter, even rotating the hard drive. Similarly, when you're watching a video just as you're doing now, your brain performs many other functions for the body, such as keeping your lungs breathing, maintaining your heartbeat, helping your eyes to see the video, or helping to digest your food. So scientific studies have concluded that maybe only 10% of your brain would be focusing on seeing that video, while the remaining 90 would be busy in performing other basic processes of your body. So the answer to the question that how much of our brains are we able to use is 100%, and the theories that we only use 10% of our brains is just a myth. But there is a fact that just the way we increase our strength by muscular training there are ways we can unlock or use a higher percentage of our brains. And when you get to that stage, you may think of it as the wrapping paper. Once your gift is unwrapped, you discard the paper and the box it came in. It's what's in the box and how you use it that's important. So, what will happen when you eventually bring the gift out of its wrapped box? Obstacles start dissolving. Obstacles are those circumstances where we feel stuck, trapped, impaired and can't flow forward in life. As we increase our brain's potential, we don't have problems. We just have creative solutions. You spontaneously attract things like abundance, car parks and harmonious relationships and effortlessly find solutions to all your problems. Oneness. As we open up regions of the brain and dissolve the experience of separation with other entities, one actually feels how they would feel because they're connected through the field of oneness. And just as you have a finger, a hand, an ear, a toe, and they all look different and have different functions. If you hit your toe, your entire body feels it. At 100% brain capacity, separation dissolves and one merges with the unified field. Increased creativity. The eureka feeling we get when we discover new ideas can be traced back to an ancient Greek scientist named Archimedes, who was tasked with figuring out how to determine whether a crown was made of solid gold or gold mixed with other metals, without breaking the crown. He actually discovered the solution while he was taking a bath. Archimedes noticed that the water level of the bath changed as he got in and out of the tub. He realized that he could calculate the volume of an object by submerging it in water, which is especially helpful for objects with irregular shapes, such as crowns. Like to have more of Archimedes discovering? Then we need more of that brain power. And there you go. Things that could happen when you begin to use 100% of your brain's capacity. If you enjoy this video, give it a like, share and subscribe for more interesting videos from Brilliance.